Hello everyone, and welcome to Swanky Jack Plays Schrodinger's Cat Raises the Lost Quark. So, this game uh, is created by Italic Pig and published by Team17, and was recommended uh, for me to play as a Swanky Saturday special by my lovely uh, fiancé, Sam. So, uh, I heard about this game because I was uh, I was working at Eurogamer Expo uh, a couple of years ago, and I actually bumped into well, not bumped into. Uh, I spoke to the lead developer of, of the game um, at the at the booth, and it just it looks really charming. And I got it when I came back from that Eurogamer. It was like two years ago. I just never got around to playing it. And again, that's one of the things I love about Swanky Saturday Special. It's a case of it gives me opportunities to play games that. I either haven't had time to play, or other games have sort of taken over in terms of like, 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 like sort of. If a new MOBA comes out, I'm often quite. Oh, let's play some of that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's good that I get a chance to sort of play games that I wouldn't normally play. So, uh, it's a puzzle platformer that I think is about particle physics. So, let's just get on with it. Let's just figure out what happens. That's the one. So, yes, as always, uh, I'm doing this as blind as possible. Uh, and it'll be uh, kind of a first impressions as it's being done as a swanky Saturday special. One particular day, on one particular atom, in one particular universe. So... The nucleus, particle zoo, central command. So yeah, so um, as Schrodinger's cat, I I I do not believe corny physics joke on the cup. Fantastic. And how are we today? And who's ready for another fun-filled day at work at the particle zoo? His tongue has a hand on it. Families of the polyverse can come and observe all the elementary particles of the standard model. I'm beginning to think something's going wrong. Natural habitat in complete safety. We are. I can't hear you. I said, oh, uh, sir, you uh, you better come take a gander at this. What has happened? What the? Sir? I think I think a bad thing might have happened. Sweet, Chewy, Philadelphia, Gelman, Sweet, clear the zoo and lock this place down ASAP. Yes, sir. But but Witten, your priority is the strange. You know what happens if she gets out? Everyone else, code Heisenberg, repeat, code Heisenberg! The zoo, it's, it's out of chaos, and not the theoretical kind. How will we ever <laughs> sort this out? We can't, but I know someone who can. <laughs> Yeah, because um, at, at the uh, EGX event, I was actually given a Schrodinger's coin, so as opposed to heads or tails, it, it was dead and uh, alive. Uh, I don't necessarily think I have the... In oh, uh, I'm... yeah, I guess I use the keyboard. I'm already at the keyboard. Um, I don't necessarily have time to go into the, the full details of uh, Schrodinger's cat's uh, theory, so... um. I'm just gonna leave you guys to Google that one. Zoo, eh? Sounds like a great day out. And if memory serves me, Schrodinger's cat, the 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 character in this, is voiced by the same chap who did Marty McFly's voice in the Telltale Back to the Future. Like I said, a great day out. Right, so cool. Let's go to the. So yeah. Okay, and then I just keep going. Yeah. A double jump? No, single jump. Uh, crawl as opposed to slide. Uh, is there anything up here I can get? There's nothing. <laughs> the, the sign says there's nothing up here. Oh, that's just mean. You're just, t just toying with my sort of natural explorative uh, instincts. Hooray, we're saved! Schrodinger's cat is here! About time, too, eh? About to say, is he, um... Is he Canadian? Uh... Let's Come do this. On, open up! Let me at him! Uh, what? Come on! See, her zoo's on automatic lockdown security thing, though. 
No one gets in or out this way until someone shows up and sorts out this mess. But I'm here to... Uh, I know, eh? Bit of a design flaw. <laughs> <laughs> um... So... so <laughs> how do I get in? Um... Oh, there's a maintenance hatch around the back of this here wall. Bit of a hike, but you should pop you through to the quark pond. Okay. Uh, there, it's a straight shot to nucleus, more or less. That's so how? Do... I can do. Which wall? Thanks. Perfect. Should be easy. Thanks, buddy. No sweat. Watch out for the leptons, eh? Eh? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like I said, round back. Okay. Ah! What? Him? He ain't nothing to worry about. What is it? That's uh... a the quark. They're harmless. Mostly. Yeah. Well, that one is. That there's an up quark. Hey, little guy. Mm. They like to lift things and move it around and that. Mm, kind of helpful, actually. Okay, so I pick it up. Oh! So I've got one up quark. He you. Hey, uh, <laughs> he's following me. They do that. Anyway, like I said, keep following this wall. Entrance is around the back. Gotcha. Thanks, dude. Uh, yeah. As I'm not a physicist, I do apologize if there are some uh, particle physics jokes uh -huh. that kind of go uh, go over my head. Cool, that's fine. Uh, how do I... So then, three up quarks gets me a little propeller bum. Cool. Oh, then they've been consumed. Okay. Right. Seemingly no fall damage. Always good. Oh, hello. It's up there. Cool, so you can do it like mid-jump, which is cool. Probably a bit too high for that. Uh, okay, let's go. And then up, and then get a second quark, third quark, we're good. Oh, so saying, you, oh, you can actually combo them together, so I can literally like jump, quark, 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 and then quark, quark, quark. Cool, got it. Uh, down quark is to break things. Cool. So one, two, three. All right. Lost hit tab. I guess that'll place where I am. I guess grab a handful. And then... Okay, so I can't break through the metal looking ones. In all fairness, I assumed I couldn't in the first place. And then any ones that I've got get sort of put away. Nine of them? Jesus. Cool, so I guess. Alright then. And, All right. and then. Ah, oh, I can mix them together. Okay, so up, down, up. I don't know. Okay. How do I. Yeah, sure. So I've got two ups. Ah, oh, like, a, like a Hadouken kind of thing. And then down, down, up. Makes a missile. So then up, down, up. Isn't up, it's missile. Okay. And then down, up, up is a downwards Hadouken. Alright. Oh, so I guess I go and hit it. Cool. Hey, who's this uh, guy? Glue wands? May not be clever, but grabby glue wands will quaff your quarks. Quarks? Quarks? Quarks. Faster than you can say, Christ. Quinquavig. Quinquavigantillion. Sure. Show no fear. Press E. They should cough up the goods. Stay alert, stay safe. Okay. So let's get up and out of here. Uh, across. And up. Grab the downs. And I'll break through. So that breaks through two. Cool. I could probably just use space for jumping. Grab the downs while I'm there. And I'm up. Jump, jump, jump. Cool. And then what was it? It was down up. No, up, down, up. Yeah. 
Uh, break through that, break through that. And then get that one. I'm not sure I like the E is attack. That's, that kind of feels a bit weird for me. Right, so I'm going to have to... I've got enough, so yeah. And then... <laughs> Wasn't so bad. Like you said, around the Mind back. Mind you, technically, I'm still not even inside the zoo yet. And then we're going to the next level. Cool. Okay, so I think if anything, for me, the problem here is going to be um, remembering the combinations of abilities. So that's a top quark which protects me. Okay, everybody's protection, whether from hungry leptons, dark matter, hydro, hydro cyanic acid, or from. You're from your fragile emotions. The protection, so left. So left is top quarks. So I can just go through it. Oh, okay. Interesting. So that's one top. Two. And three. So left, isn't it? So I can just like roll through. Can I jump while in it? No, I can't. Yeah. Oh, but then I've got to put them... No, wait, what? Then drop through. Okay. So, oh, no, that one's already following me. And then up and through that. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> so the bottoms one is... It has, it has a giant bottom. As in, like, a bum. It's like a bum with a face and limbs, basically. Okay, temporary platform. So bottoms make solid things, okay? So one, two, three. So I jump. Jump onto that. So I jump. I can kind of like. Okay. Right, I'm with. I'm with. I get that. And then. No, no, no it's right, not down. Cool. Alright, yeah, I get that. That seems legit. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so motion and protection, protective motion, construction and moving is moving construction. Destructive construction? I wonder what that means. I can't want to find out what destructive construction means and destructive protection. But yeah, I guess that's kind of one of the things. It's all about. So this is. So jump up, right up. Oh, it's a moving platform. That makes sense. And it goes in whichever direction I'm looking for. Awesome, okay. Then this will be, so up, left, up. Is it a parachute? Okay, right, so I have to do that again, because I kind of balls that up. How do I get them back? There we go. Cool. Alright. Very interesting. And then down onto, out. Nailed it! Uh, there, up, and then up onto the next one, and this is, uh, right, let's just stockpile a bunch of things, oh, I just need the ups to get up, don't I? I just love how they just kind of, pop oh, then, uh, cool, right, and our butts, what is this stuff? whoops. Didn't mean to touch it. Feels like that jelly they put in tins of cheap cat food, but more likely it's dark energy or under dense plasma or something. Okay. Whatever it is, it's getting in my fur, and I will not be touching it again if I can help it. So wait, does that mean I'm dead or alive or dead and alive? Well, I begin to ask the real question. Science horrific, <laughs> delightful. So this is now going to be. Oh no, no, this is uh. The platform. Yeah, cool. I know what that one was. Cool, now that's gone. Quarktacular. Mm. I have a feeling this game might be full of full of uh full of puns. What do you guys reckon? So then what is that? So that's down. So that's destructive constructive. Nope, not today. So what's constructive destructive then? Come on, come down. Come down, you coward. Can 
can, can I get him back? There we go. Cool. Nailed it. Wait. But I didn't use them for anything. I guess that's more my fault than anything else. Cool. That is a. That's like 15? Jesus. I made it. Sweet. And then. Protective one to roll through the slime. And then. Uh, downs to break through the surface. Combinatorical. Particle zoo mathtacula. How many three quark combos can you make from four quarks? Quite a few. There you go. There, there is my official answer to that question. Quite a few. So let's try. Christ, so up, down, left. So, um... I don't understand. What is that? A bomb? Oh, let's blow myself up. Yeah, I did. Oh, so no, it's not saying jump there to do it. It's up, down, left becomes bomb. Uh, then down, left, right is like it makes they they can't focus because they're busy dancing. That's that's amazing. Getting that bottom back. So it's up, it's downs, tops and bottoms. So a protective bottom <laughs> is a bounce pad. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Maintenance hatch. Cool, we're in. We got in. Jeez, okay, right. Tab a zoom out. Space jump. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, that's a crouch. Sneak crouch, same thing. Okay. Right, now the tutorial stuff's out of the way. Let's figure out the real stuff. So. Up to there. I can, I, I can jump that, I'm assuming. Yeah. Cool. So I guess I can go either up or I can go right. Let's go up. And then swing across to here. And up. No. Oh, yeah, that worked. That's fine. That's cool. Uh, that's like six ups. Cool. And then I guess I would say to like super up here. Not first, the one up seemed to do it. I guess I'm maximizing the point in which uh, momentum lets me go. It also crouches if you need to, that's good to know. Let's grab one more up so we got that. Nope, can't quite get there. I was about to cancel it prematurely. Uh, then... Can we get up from that? Come on, come on. Ah, no, that's fine, that's fine, I can make that jump. And then... We've got the bottoms to make platforms. We could make a moving platform, but I'm not sure we need to. Either way, we'll get you there. And that's okay, and then more bottoms. So, and then we can make a moving bottom out of this. So, right up, right, and then jump across. Delightful. Then we've got some downs. And then the downs can get us through this. Groovy. Yeah! Right, we're getting there, guys. Uh, I've got nothing at the moment, so jump across. I can crouch under that, but I can't really go anywhere from that. So I guess I go down further. Is there anything below me I can use? There we go. We've got some downs. Let's break through that. Break through that. So they're up, down, down? Uh, that's just downs. Oh, uh... I'm getting a good amount of downs here, so I guess I'll send one more. And then, uh... 
Might as well get that other up. Uh, grab them, grab them, grab some more down. I guess it's just, I'm probably over preparing more than anything else. I'd say I'm pretty stocked for whatever challenge this game might be about to throw at me. I have a feeling that like 40 up quarks, sorry, 40 down quarks and 5 up quarks is probably going to be enough for whatever challenge says. If that Skype notification has just come over my screen, I do apologise. There we go. Uh, I don't really need to go get them back. Oh, yeah, because I've got to check them all anyway. God damn it. So if anything, I've locked myself into an animation here, as opposed to help myself with a later puzzle. Delightful. And then across there, roll across there. I don't know how I get to them. It's like in scenery. Uh have those guys. And grab one more down. To break through here. Uh, he hasn't got one, so I guess I can just keep going. Has he got one? No, I think so. Uh, I wonder if there's like a more efficient way of doing this than I've been doing. Bring it down. And then across? Yeah. Uh, up, down, up, and get them. And then roll through that. Uh, up. And over, and then up, and oh no, oops. No, dang it. Ah, I wasted quarks. Yes. Did not want to do that. Did not want to waste quarks. Well, I've got three greens again, so roll through that. Or a bubble. And through that. And then. Uh, yeah. Shoot it down. Permutastic. And then the next one. Cool. Okay. I got that. I, yeah. I'll admit I'm not the most efficient at doing it. Nor am I getting necessarily all the uh, the particle physics jokes. But you know what? I, I'm pretty happy with uh, the overall performance so far. Please remove your shoes in the quark pond. So what is that thing there? So if I go up down, what is hey, it? Who's this charming fellow? Uh, I don't know. What what was that? Okay. Oops. I don't know. Am I still going? Get it. Right, let's just go up. Uh, oh crap, that was a massive waste of momentum. Alright. Then... Okay, space button takes you out of the... Uh, Effect combo. Uh, 
don't know if I can like touch that. Even if it's like doing a jump. I guess it hurt, didn't it? So. So I guess from this I would then want. And just slide them over. And then up, down, up to destroy that. Up, down, up. Destroy that. Oh crap, wrong one. Shit. Shit. Uh, I just wasted a bunch. No, I'm on a platform. No, I can't move. Damn it. Damn it, I just wasted all that. Oh shit. There we go. Right. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. No, I keep pressing right, not left. Damn it. That's not what I meant to do. Well, it worked. Oh my god, I'm dreadful at utilizing these. I'm almost dead. Wait, did I just get you back to the beginning anyway? I don't understand. What is my objective right now? What did that do if it wasn't the objective? Ow. Now I'm just confused. Right, let's go those ups. Get all those quarks back. And then try to figure out what I just did. Oh! Was that I was supposed to like give a certain amount in? Is that my objective here? Or was that basically a playground to just mess around with what you've got available to you? Uh huh. Man, that guy at the front gate wasn't kidding. Where in the name of Sheldon Glassshot does this gargantuan bundle of subatomic bizarrity hail from? All right, time to make the donuts. Why am I sneaking up on this guy? Avast! What say ye, foul creature of the infinitesimal realm? But isn't he a security uh, guard? Yeah. James Gilman. I work here. Yeah, you idiot. Oh. Can't you tell by the hat? Sorry. Uh, need help? Are your fingers caught under that or something? No, I'm trying to ship this boson back to its enclosure before it wakes up. What about you, soldier? You here for the cleanup or are you just here to look pretty? I can do both. Don't say both. <laughs> I wasn't going to. Shit. <laughs> Uh, I was. Yeah, I got caught. That was it. Can you bring me up to speed on the situation? Report at 0.0000800 hours. The entire particle zoo lost containment. How? And every creature in this Higgs forsaken place took the liberty to run rampant and unchecked. Check that. Not every creature. Strange okay. was still safely inside the nucleus, thank Higgs, with Chomp Field in effect. I have no I get idea that. I got that, thank said. Higgs joke. With Strange <laughs> contained, immediate priority is to return all rogue particles to their respective enclosures to lift quarantine. Uh -huh. Don't you mean quarantine? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> these particle jokes are all new to me. <laughs> Oh, uh, what a charming game. Particles. They're sneaky, nasty, ravenous, curious, stubborn, and dumb. Can you be more specific? Listen, soldier, I've only got nine hands. I don't have time to hold yours when there's an entire zoo gone AWOL. You see those numbers behind you? Yes. Sure do. That's how many nasties are still loose out there. If you see one of them, you take them out any way you can, you hear me? Okay. Loud and clear. Once they're out, you send them back to their respective enclosures. Numbers go down, lights turn green, and we all get to go home. Now, get to work. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's do this like Brutus. Now I say let's go. Brutus. Um, a man who did things, I guess? Remember, take them out, then fly them home. Got it? Got it. It's on like Donkey Kong. What's a Donkey Kong? Never mind. Dismissed.
Yeah, so I say let's go. Oh, I'm actually going to call it there for the Swaying Thursday special. So that was uh, Schrodinger's Cat and the Raiders of the Lost Quark. Now, I found that very charming. I found for a puzzle platformer, it's actually quite rare to find comparatively unique mechanics. And the whole idea of like combining different aspects to give you different solutions to problems is, is I think... Very, very interesting. Um, so if you enjoyed Trading as Cat and Race of the Lost Quark, give the video a like. Uh, if you want to see more Swanky Jack content, if you subscribe to the channel, there'll be a new video going up every day of the week. Uh, and if you've got any feedback or comments in regards to the channel, give a give a shout in the comment section or give me a shout on Facebook or on Twitter, the links for which will be in the description below this video. Uh, in regards to Swanky Saturday specials, if you would like to see us as a series, let me know. And obviously, but I'm assuming it's just going to be kind of laid out in a level-based one, which would obviously be good for consistency of a series. If you'd like to see a series, give me a shout. I'd, I'd like to hear, hear your thoughts on the matter. And if you've got any suggestions for a future Swanky Saturday special, again, give me a shout in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to hear your suggestions and at least look into your suggestions. I understandably won't necessarily have time to, to do all of them as I'm only doing one of these a week, but I'll do my best to see two uh, suggestions because I, I, I like the idea of that. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye guys, bye!